I've always been curious how golf equipment affects your score. So today, Grant and I are having a match, but with a twist. I have to use a $30 set of clubs, and he gets to use a $3,000 set of clubs. No. All the pressure is on Grant today, and if he loses, he sucks. Stopping to get breakfast here at 109 p.m. Today's gonna be more of like a day in the life vlog, uh, but also Grant and I are testing out a theory, I guess. Based off the title of the video, you guys kinda know what we're doing. Breakfast now, then we're going to a thrift store, and I'm basically going to try and get a set of clubs for under 30 bucks. Grant's clubs are currently valued at $3,000, or a little more than $3,000. We're gonna see how much cheap equipment affects my golf game versus Grant who has a very nice set of clubs. Our skill level is already very similar, so it should be a really good test. I think Gareth, he's gonna he's gonna compete with me very, very well, because he can literally, I feel like he could hit a broomstick and be pretty good at golf, so that's my issue today. I don't think it's gonna change too much. I think he's gonna play pretty well, so. Nine holes though, guys, we're gonna do a match. It's gonna be fun. On to the thrift store here, guys. I haven't really been to a thrift store here in Dallas. We're gonna have to find a decent one. See if we can find a set of clubs under 30 bucks. I think I give my chances at a solid 100%. If you go to enough thrift stores and you bargain enough, you're always going to figure out a way to get a club really cheap and a set of clubs really cheap. We made it to Thrift Store Giant, I believe is what it's called. Uh -oh. There's no way they don't have clubs. There is no way. Well, thrift store one is a no-go. The thing is, there's a Goodwill right up the street, so I think we're gonna be fine. I just have a feeling like golf's growing so much right now that the clubs sold out at the last store. So fingers crossed, praying to God that there are clubs in this Goodwill, please. We need some cheap clubs to do this, this challenge. I don't see anything. I don't see anything yet. All right, we found the jackpot, G. This is, this is your time to shine. I think I got them today. These are these are raw. Dude, just by looking at the clubs, it's not looking good for you, boys today. These are the most pointless things. <laughs> yeah. These little twos, bro. I get 30 bucks. <laughs> Dude, what kind of five wood is that? What is that? Okay, this is not looking good for me. I get 30 bucks to play Grant with his $3,000 set of clubs today. Wooden driver. I need to try and make somewhat of a full set. I don't like that six iron. You know when they say like, man, I hit that on the screws? That's what they mean. When I say I hit that thing on the screws sometimes. Do I need a three wood though? I feel like I only need a five wood. I got a four, five, nine. I'm gonna get as many as I can and then just see what he tells me. Dude, look at this thing. <laughs> If that's not the skinniest iron you guys have ever seen, I would be shocked. Okay, we got four, five, nine, seven, one, five wood. There's also no wedges, so I'm gonna be using a nine iron as the flop shot today. Bump and runs, nine iron. I feel like right now that's gonna be like 50 bucks. You think this is 50? Yeah, no shot. I think that's 50 bucks. Let's go find out. My total is 644. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? You're kidding. Actually? Yeah, not, yeah. For the whole thing. No. <laughs> Let's go get more oh. Let's go. It's our lucky day, I guess. There we have it. We, it's our lucky day. I guess we're, we're playing golf on a $10 budget. No, honestly, that leaves us room to buy some balls in the clubhouse. I didn't think we were gonna be able to get everything for under 30 bucks. $6, he obviously has like $20, $24 left right now. I don't know, I mean, you can buy like a sleeve of balls, that's probably like 12 bucks. A Did glove. You, you can get a, a hot dog at the turn with. <laughs> Dude, low key, the only thing that I gotta pay for today, what I have to factor in is all of my equipment. So I gotta get balls, which is gonna be like, I think I'm gonna do like one or two sleeves of like top flights. I'm gonna play with bad golf balls yep. and then I'm gonna get a golf glove because I think that's gonna be key today. You're gonna be right under, right at 30 bucks. Playing balls, like a sleeve of like your worst balls you've gotten. Tricks on. The guy in there is an absolute legend. You said I could borrow some range balls today. I don't know how confident I am with not losing any balls with these clubs. I only have three, three soft heels. I got a sleeve of soft heels. The soft heels were seven bucks, the glove was 12 bucks. So that puts it at 19 
plus six. 25. 25 bucks, I'm good, and then I got some free range balls. So we're set for today. We're going down, Grant. You suck. All the pressure's on Grant today. And if he loses, he sucks. Before we get started, guys, I'm gonna walk you through a what's in the bag for me today. So my first club is a wooden driver. Uh, it looks like it almost has negative loft which is quite intimidating, and it's gonna be scary to hit today, we'll just say that. My next club is a, it looks like it says Dyna Tour 5 wood. We'll see how we hit it. Next club is actually a Spalding Sure Flight 2 iron. I'm not sure where I'm gonna hit this 2 iron, but it looks very challenging to hit once again. Next club is a 5 iron, it's a Tour Model 2. It's a cavity back, so it's game improvement. 6 iron, stainless, golden eagle, 7 iron, first flight, and the last club, is a nine iron. That's my what's in the bag. All right, this is where the value from my $3,000 set, we, we kind of estimated it at $3,000, but this is where the value comes from. My entire iron set, the two two ones, um, we're gonna value that at $1,500 with the dynamic gold shafts in them. And then we work up to our three wood and hybrid. They're around $300 a piece. The driver is $500. The putter is $300. The wedges are $160 a piece. After we do all that math, it should be right above $3,000. All right, guys, let's head over to the first hole now and get our nine holes of stroke play started. Are you good, good golf? That's him. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, yeah. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Awesome, it's hot out here. It is. You guys are crazy. Made it to the first tee, under the budget. I keep hearing how hard this course actually is off the tee. There's trouble right and left on every single hole, which is kind of intimidating, but yeah, we're the, gonna get this, after it today. This kid like Mason Green's his name. He said it's pretty tough. I yeah, don't know. he's like some UCLA yeah, he's pretty kid. good. Yeah, he's like yeah, kind of good at golf. Anyway, well, Mason, how you doing, man? <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> Mason's gonna be playing alongside of us today, off camera. If you see any balls flying around, it's probably his. Grant, let's flip the tee. See who goes first oh, here on the boy. first hole. This is kind of scary. Okay. Grant has like really put a lot of pressure on himself because he knows if he loses, it's, it's going to look really bad on his image and his brand. So everything's going to go downhill from there. This would be a start of a decline if I took the dub today. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I just, that was pretty harsh. Ball. Thank you. It's going to be tough to beat if you're hitting fairways today. Okay. Uh, my biggest thing is I haven't hit this on the range, so I don't know how this is gonna come off. We're just gonna swing and hope that it goes straight. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't expect that, I'm not gonna lie. That was the first shot I hit with this. Where'd you hit it on the face? I hit it dead center, dead center. It's a different release point, isn't that what they say? I have no idea with a club <laughs> like that, I don't even know what that thing does. Did you see it carry though? It carried, it carried over there and bounce. bounced in, so I can take a drop and I can still make parts a part yeah. five. Sometimes you just gotta hold on to the shaft and just hope for the best. We tried to hit that club after, Mason tried to hit it. He said it's literally impossible. I gotta say, I got some respect for Ben Hogan, you know, and all the old timers that used to hit those clubs. You know, they're probably a lot better than the people nowadays that are hitting these like drivers with these giant heads. Ben is one of the greatest and Ball smoothest strikers. swings Ball strikers, everything about that guy, unreal. All right, I gotta take a drop, boys. Three balls everywhere. There's just balls everywhere. Oh, is that your? There's, That's a green I see one. Three balls right here. Dude, look at this. I need this today. If I'm losing a bunch of balls today, watch me find my ball. If I find my ball, is that oh, it? It's over for Grant. If I find my ball. Wait, here's the ball. Please tell me mine. This is my ball. <laughs> this is my ball. That is a Sarixon soft feel. I just got hey, I so gotta lucky. Check this. That's his ball. That is, he's the luckiest golfer I've ever I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> We're back in this, baby. My goal is to get it back in play. I don't have much of a swing, but I'm just happy I'm in play. If I can go for the green in three, I am set. This is a nine hole match. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So stroke play, I love it, but everything's gotta be counted. We gotta putt everything out today. You're putting with your nine iron. I got it. I got a nine iron. Off to a great start for me, honestly. This could have gone a lot worse, I'll tell you that. And I got a shot at the green, baby. Dude, you are getting beat today. You're the luckiest golfer I've actually ever been. I'm not kidding. I thought that was so far out of bounds. <laughs> it, was, it really was. I've never played this course, and it's kind of impressing me so far. I'm not, the greens look pure. I'm gonna hit a five iron here. How far do you have? I don't know. I gotta play it smart. You know, I actually gotta try today. The thing is, with Garrett, I can't just like, treat this like a normal round. I actually gotta grind it out. I don't care what clubs he's playing. It's gonna be fun. Right there. Three shot, par five. I just wanna get off to a nice solid start here. I think I got like two something. Which butter knife should I go for, the two or the four? 
Two. I go for the low four. I think I go for the low four, and if I'm, I'll probably be short because I think these are lofted a little higher. I think one of these club heads are gonna go flying. Yeah, <laughs> so, Ryder, be careful whenever you're standing around us. Oh, that's what I had to do to get oh it there. Oh my goodness! That's what I had to do to get it there. <laughs> what? On the green. That was my only option to get it to the green. I'm not even kidding. I, you guys might think I didn't try that, but I did. Because this is like, most of the time these are lofted at like a six iron, so I knew I had to roll it. And these, this grass is so hard, so you gotta go for it. Come on, baby. <laughs> I, this is, I do think I really do have a chance today. Out here, it's so dry that you can just play ground ball. Like, you can play rollers the whole day rollers. off the tee. I thought your club was gonna break there, but. That did. was kind of cool. That was like a punch shot. That was good. What a day so far. This has been an awesome video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Obviously we have our competitive matches and our stroke play and everything like that. But sometimes we just like to come out here and have a good time and mess around with certain challenges and different stuff. It's more like the OG GM, like how I used to do my challenges and whatnot. So I hope you guys are enjoying. If you do, leave a like. Let's see if we can get this to 20K. Yeah. This is the whole process too. Like we had to go to two different places to even find golf clubs. All right guys, I get the luxury, the privilege to use this thing. A modern technology. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen one of these. They're called rangefinders. They're really cool. So I get to shoot my yardage here. 98. Oh, he's putting the pressure on early. Okay. Modern that? technology. Modern. How does that wedge feel? Feels like Look very modern. And you got some dinosaurs over sitting in there. See, I wouldn't know. You got some fossils. <laughs> you got some fossils. Feels. All right, on the green here, I'm going to chip with the two iron. I don't feel comfortable blading a nine iron from like 50 feet up the hill, so we're going with the two iron, a little right to left. Let's start with a birdie. <laughs> what? How do you do that? He's GM Golf, Grant. That was nice. That was good speed. If I read that right, we could have made that. Or Garrett Clark is a combination of super talent, but also a lot of luck, you know? I see the luck. Got lucky. Stayed in play, made a par, all squares through one. Let's keep it rolling. Wow, this course is tough. Well, yeah, you know. this course is way harder than I ever, like I've never seen it, but it seems like there's trouble every hole. So yeah, we had a group that teed off behind us and we want to make sure we're playing somewhat fast today. We're going to skip this next hole and we're going to go on to hole number three so we can kind of create some room. Yeah, I, I'm happy. I got a lucky start, bounced it out of the woods. And obviously sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Right now I'm feeling Pretty lucky. See, the thing is with you though, is like you get lucky, but then you you take advantage of it always. So like Most you you hit that four iron on the green from like two, I don't even know, 220, 200, a low running four iron. So I think I did have a little a little over 220. My strategy today is going to be low runners all day. Yeah. If there's nothing in front of the green, I'm going low runner. Oh, this next hole's a par three. Hole three is a par three. Oh. This course is kind of pure. It's not bad. Second hole of the day, a little par three. Downwind is 200 yards. I'm gonna hit a seven iron. Just kind of landed on the front, let it roll back. Oh, baby. Oh. Yeah, that's tough to beat today if I'm gonna be seeing that all day. I'll take that from 200 yards all day. I'm just gonna stay, stay pretty calm today. I know Garrett's gonna, he's not gonna be going anywhere. He's always just like grabbing at you. It's always kind of doing that. You know, I don't have too many expectations for myself today, so I'm just gonna keep it rolling. Dude, give me a pot. My club's way too good for you. And of course, giant kick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was sick. I just got such a huge bounce short of the green rolled up there. I gotta put a birdie. Two putts of birdie here. That seven on you, like, it wasn't bad. That's a pretty decent club. That actually is a solid club. I aimed right, because I was nervous about being short. I didn't want to hit it in the, you know, 
yeah. I kind of bailed out. Grant's in there really tight though, so I, I feel like I got at least two putts. Down the hill, right to left, I feel like these greens might not break as much as they look like based off of the first hole, but I'm gonna trust that I'm going with the bladed nine iron here. Why the nine iron over the two iron? There's a certain distance. Like for me, it's downhill here, but if I get outside of like 35 feet, that's when it starts to get a little, a little tricky because when you have to take a big swing with the bladed shot, sometimes you can miss the center of the ball. Hit in, it's in. I love watching Ryder's reaction when you do something good. You just smile. I thought I was gonna make that, dude. Dang it. All right, Grant. All right. Left to right up the hill. No way. <laughs> gonna have to see that one. I'm just saying. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> We're good. A lot of, lot of golf to play. A lot of golf to play. I was rooting for you until that just happened. No more smiling. You're gonna be a little bit different. Yeah. You're gonna get a little weird. For sure. Third hole of our day here, guys. I think it's a par four. We've never played this course, so you guys are seeing it for the first time with us, but looks like it's a dog leg right? 370, I got the five wood. I was thinking four iron, like roller again, because it's so dry, but I just want to break out this club. I haven't hit it yet, so we got to go for it. Wow. Dude, this thing goes high. That was pure. I hit it perfect. Dude, look at the lofts on his face. Kind of hard to tell, but that's more than a five wood. That's like a nine wood. <laughs> that I literally went up a like wood. a wood. That's like a hybrid thing. Look at that. All right, Mason's trying the club. Holy <laughs> pure. <laughs> that, he hit that 330. That actually probably just went 330. I'm putting it in play. Hey, put a tracer on that, please. Getting rid of the old driver. <laughs> that was sick. I got about 150 here. Yeah, 144, 146 center. Pins a little back, it looks like. Got the nine. I'm just gonna hit this normal. I think this should be the right club. It's downwind. See if we can uh, put one in there close. If I can make a birdie here on hole three, this would be nuts. Gotta go, I think. I think it's gotta go. Yeah. Came out a little more a little more spinny than I thought, but I'll take it. It was a good shot. Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna exactly have a swing here. I might break this fence, but I think I can get vertical. It's gonna like open it up almost. It's gonna be weird. Oh, you gotta swing with the wall. Lot a lot. I could try and swing along the wall. That's a better option or I go more direct. Oh, it's just gonna sit a hair. Oh, 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 oh. no. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that it. was probably a foot from landing in the hole, dude. What the heck? That, that was, was crazy. Actually, that was I'm happy I even made contact, honestly. The way he was just doing this, I was like, there's no way. Guys, this shot landed right here. If that would have gone in, I don't know what I would have done. I would have ran around like a chicken. Right to left here, this is to make a birdie, take it to one under through three. Oh, it released. Okay, that's a, that's a little slider there. I get a free read now, which is huge because I don't think we know exactly what these greens do yet. Hold it, hold it. Hey, dude. <sighs> oh, I had the right line too. That all squares it, Grant. That was a good part, good putt, honestly. it has been a lot, a lot of ups and downs, guys. Hopefully you are enjoying this. I'm just trying to not embarrass myself out here. I'm, I'm like, I'm trying hard, you know, Ryder? I can feel the tension in the air. Ryder, look at this ecosystem. <laughs> like, look how the tree complements the rocks and the fish live with under, with under the tree. There's a turtle up there just swimming along. And I love to see like a little ecosystem like this just thriving. Um, with the world we live in, you know? I mean, I don't know if it's exactly that healthy because, I don't know, I mean, there's a lot of algae growth, but. I got the hybrid again. This hole is really weird because there's a tree right in my way. I don't understand. And then if I like aim where these T markers have me, I go straight into this hazard. So I basically got to hit a huge slice here. Well, here we go. All right, well, for me, this thing, for me, this thing doesn't go very far, so I'm just taking my medicine. I'm, it's 
450 yard par four. Basically, probably gonna hit five wood, five wood. I think this is more like a five iron, honestly. Oh. oh no. I mean, that. Hmm. That right there is the reality of this hole, but also those shafts. I literally have a corner up there, a sliver where I cross, but it's not, I'm gonna have a ways in. I had to drop all the way back here and I got 270, but I'm downwind with the five wood. I'm feeling good about it. Whew, I'm gonna have to kill this thing, but hey, I wanna win today. I can't, I'm out for blood, honestly. I think I got it there too. Oh yeah. Yes. We're over. Oh, I pulled it a hair, but I had to go for it. I had to go for it. I mean, Grant's up here, perfect position. I gotta at least try and make a bogey. That's the thing. I got a chip. How the heck do you hit that 270? That I, I kind of leaned it down a little bit and tried to pick it. Cause if you take grass, it spins. Knock down seven iron, 179. Pick left. Oh, 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 come on, go in. Please. Oh! Mm. Dude. That one got the heart rate. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That's crazy. It looks like a foot away. It's really close. Grant, It was tracking too. 179 yards, seven iron. It was coming out on the high side. So it literally had such a, a good chance. I like never do that. Only when you're around, Ryder. I gotta make this for a par. Keep one over. Big shot for me. Oh yeah, that one jumped a little hot on me. This is my first kind of, I guess, blow up hole, if you will. This course, it's like kind of bound to happen. So if I can minimize it to just this hole and make some birdies, I still do have a chance. If that would have went in though, I would have gone crazy. <laughs> it was so close. We were saying in the car, Grant's gonna be the next person to do it. He's gonna do something crazy and good, good. Oh no. Downhill. Yeah. <sighs> to get me to three over, need this one pushed it listen guys i'm down but i trust me if you guys are watching this video stick around because i'm four over through four with a triple here i still do have confidence that i'm gonna make something happen i'm four shots back but there's five holes so we've seen me make some comebacks on grant before and maybe today is another day that i do that Par three again. This is our fifth hole. I got an eight iron, 175 to the pin. I'm in between clubs because I don't have an eight iron. It's like a compressed hard nine because it's straight down wind. Or it's an easy seven, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to swing easy with these clubs. This is what you call a compressed shot. Do that. So it's basically an eight iron loft right there. You come in and you hit a draw. You sweep it in, you land it on the front and you let it roll back there. Might be a little short there, guys. I thought that was it, but. Was it I'm going easy seven is what I'm doing. I'm basically trying to carry this like 165 and it should roll a little bit. Oh, it's on the green. I do have a shot. I need to be hitting close. I need to be hitting it close to the pen like every hole now to make a comeback, so that was unfortunate. Those aren't that short. No, those are solid more right shots. than anything. I gotta make this to put any sort of pressure on Grant. This is like a good luck hole for me because I think you can see Chipotle from here, <laughs> which is, it's just huge for my confidence. A little left to right here, up the hill. Let's get it there. I'm really dialed in right now. Focus. Got the two iron. Gotta go back right. I thought I freaking made it, dude. I rolled it right where I wanted to. Four holes left and I'm four down. You never know. You never know. I'm not gonna count myself out of it. He's indirectly talking to me, if you guys can tell. Par five, it is so narrow up there. I'm gonna keep hitting my hybrid off the tee because I have no idea what I'm hitting at. Yeah. It's so hot back here because there's no breeze circulating within these trees. <sighs> is it good, Ryder? Oh. Roddenberry? Yeah, it's ever. great. Dude, that might be one of my longer hybrids of my life. I don't know, it just soared. Holy pure. Go! No. The ball flight on that was crazy. 
It was so low. Try to hit a stinger, roll it up there. Unfortunately, did not have enough carry. Getting frustrated here. Need to stay dialed in though. In the bunker, gotta make eagle. I mean, it's serious now, as yeah. you would say. No smiles for me. Yeah. Definitely locked in here. All I care about is winning. It's a bold statement. All I care about is winning. <laughs> I'm just laying up. I got a seven iron here. I can still hold out for eagle. I have hope. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Where did you think that went? I had no clue. I hit it so good. You cured it. Falling apart now, boys. I can still, I, I, actually, I really don't know. It looks like I might almost have 300 yards. Gotta like play a low draw with this thing and roll it up there. Oh, it's coming back. Yeah, there was no getting into there. <laughs> Gotta get up and down for par. I'm making a mess of this round, I really am. I started off strong and unfortunately just have made some stupid mistakes. Realistically, I think I could go low with these clubs. Today has just not been my day so far with that triple bogey especially. Other than that, I feel like I've played pretty well. I mean, three of my shots were on one hole and other than that, it would have been one over, so. We gotta dial it in. Grant, I'm, uh, I'm getting after this. I'm gonna hit a low stinger hybrid. I think I can roll it up on the green. Here we go. Oh, he's, Grant is on fire today. I gotta give it to the no, man. Oh, that's got to turn. Oh, that had to turn over another yard. That was hit so far. well. I mean, what can I say? The man is hitting it well today. It's tough to beat. He's even par. I think I got about 70 yards here. I'm not counting myself out of it. Not yet. Not yet. This is kind of where it gets tricky because you don't have a wedge. 85 yards, yeah. This is where it's tough to gauge, and this is where, like, around the green on the triple bogey hole is where I was struggling. So if I can adjust to this nine iron, I'll be good. Go. It just so close. Dang. No excuses. That was a really bad shot. I gotta say, that was not good. You know, I think more than anything, this goes to show it is quite a challenge playing with clubs from a long time ago. It also brings my respect to an a cr even crazier level than I've already had. Because obviously every time I do one of these challenges where I use old clubs, sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't. It's always hit or miss. But if you're hitting it like somewhat bad and it's not in the middle of the face, you're kind of screwed. Like that's the, that's the biggest thing. It's a cool test and it's cool to see, to be honest with you. All right, Grant. Long bunker shot here. I'm gonna put some spin in. Well, if I would have hit the green close, I guess maybe I did have a chance. I could still hold this out. You never know. This is weird. There's no bounce. It's different. I know. Like, yeah. look. <laughs> you literally just gotta open it up and just try and slide it. You have to try. Yeah, I don't know, man. Go. Dang. Not bad. I actually had the wrong club there when I hit the bunker shot. I thought I had a 60 degree. There really wasn't much sand. I bounced the club into it. I hate when that happens. We got a pretty tricky up and down. For a second, it almost wanted to jump in, but we got a long putt now for the par. Right. If I can make this bogey putt, I'm four shots back with three to play. Count myself out. Not yet. No. That was tracking. Oh, I thought for sure I did it. I thought I made it. Thought I made it. Six over to one over. Five shots down onto the last three holes. I gotta make some eagles. That's all I'm saying. I gotta make some eagles. Every hole is tight. There's so much trouble on this course. Grant is up here first with a hybrid, short par four, 360 yards. I got my five wood again. I'm gonna go just right of the, the green. Nice. Should be fine with hybrid. Yep. Oh yeah. Pushed it a little right, but we're gonna be just fine. Oh, that was hit so good. Sit. Hey, if you're gonna just play bad, just play bad, you know? It's I mean, yeah, it's like one of those things, like if you're gonna play bad, you should play really bad. Yeah, right, you don't wanna just play 
kind of bad. Just, just if you play it. decent, at, like at the end of the day, you just fully commit. You're right. If you're having a bad round, just have a bad round. Just Accept get it, it. Yeah. Let it go. Let it keep get it out of your system too. And I feel like it's better to do it now with clubs that I'm not used to than right. to do it with my real clubs. Exactly. It's only up from here. You know? No, I think I think I I overcooked that one, and I think I'm in the tall grass. You didn't even like make a bad swing though. You no, it was good. It really drew good. probably. 40 yards, like 30 yards, but it wasn't a hook either. Yeah. It just like drew. Oh, it's up. Oh, we're up. There. We're up, baby. I mean, that is another lucky break, but I need it at this point in time. This is what we're looking at. At this point in time, I needed that, and I gotta hope that I can hold out. That's basically what it is. 115, nine iron in hand. I got these trees in my way. Not really though. It's just gonna, I'm definitely gonna feel it on my through swing. I gotta almost just ignore that. See right there? That's what I'm gonna feel, so. A little too much. I think more than anything, I'm struggling with the distance control today and direction. I'm honestly just kind of struggling. But Grant's on the right side of the fairway. If he puts this one close, that is the real dagger to this match. And it's going to be hard for me to come back. Almost impossible. 110 yards to the pin. Got a gap wedge. Let's make birdie. Let's get back to even. And let's just take the dub. Garrett can't hear me, but like any win, you know, I can get against Garrett. It feels amazing. I don't care what it is. It could be like freaking chess. A little bit on the long side. I need to make this left to right. Cloud, you need to stay there. There's a tiny little cloud. There's a lonesome cloud over the sun right now, and I'm loving the way it feels. I need to make this putt right now. Okay. I like the idea. Yeah, that was. I wanted to give it a run. I gave it a run. And at the end of the day, that's all you can ask for when you're in a position like I am right now. It was a good putt. It actually it rolled forward and yep. passed the hole. Put the dagger in right now. You make this. What is going on around the hole there? Dude, you roll that thing so good though, like end over end. It's honestly Dang. impressive, like how well. Well, that's another bogey, and that puts me at seven over with two left. So I'm playing some bogey golf today. Not great. Nice putt. Thank you. I'm just having fun today. Hitting some fairways and some greens, and not making too many putts, but I'm having fun. Grant is going hybrid again. He's not pulled out the driver today. That's weird, normally he does the driver a lot. Yeah, it's more to play a mental game with you. Um, just kind of get in your head and be like, why is he doing that? Dude, clearly you're in my head, because I'm so like, over you see, you see how he's like, yeah, he's like wondering why I'm hitting hybrid. I know, every time he gets up here, he's hitting hybrid, I'm really confused. Dude, should we go for a little swim over there on the left side? In the pool? I did. There it is. Nice shot. Yeah. Holy stinger. Oh. <laughs> Look at that roll. Oh, sit. <laughs> sit in the fairway. 157 here. I'm going to punch a little eight iron. No. Right. Right. He's right. back in it. Where do you go? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I got your hopes up. Uh -huh. I'm just right at the green. 149 here, guys. Got the nine. Trying to just skip this one up there. Come on. I need something big here. Oh, Go or sit? One of them. Sit. They said it'd be fun, they said. They said it would be fun, they said. I started off well. That's something that's very positive. You actually were scaring me. <laughs> you were beating me through two holes. That actually hurt. I thought I had a chance today, but some chunks, some bad shots, just it happens, you know? I gotta get up and down for bogey. This one kinda hurts me a lot, but let's see if we can do it. I can't tell if now it's like a mental thing or if it's just like, I don't even know what to say. There's no analysis on that one. Long of the green, I think. I'm putting, I'm putting. This is brutal. Up and down. We got kind of a tough one. We're gonna go high with this, try and get some spin. So low. I did not try and do that. I don't know why. That was weird. If I make this, I'll be happy with the bogey. Whenever you're having rounds like this, 
My biggest thing for me is I try and take the little win. So if I make this putt, I'm gonna be very excited, very happy, and I'll take that into my next round. Stay on the green. Stay on the green! Made it. Now I just gotta worry about the course. I ain't gonna just play the course, man. That was a good putt. Good putt. I'm just playing the course. Here's the deal. We're going on to hole 10, which is our ninth hole of the day. I'm now gonna concede the match I've lost. I'm eight shots behind going into the last hole. I think what this proves to me is that using these clubs uh, from, I don't know exactly the year, but they're older clubs. They're obviously not modern day technology. Using these clubs is a challenge and it proved to be so. There was a lot of times when I felt like I hit a good shot and I had a good swing, but it was just missing my target and I didn't know exactly why. So yeah. modern day technology is very forgiving, a lot easier to hit, to say the least. I can't blame it all on that because there was also times today when I felt like I hit really bad shots and bad swings. I didn't swing it well today. I honestly did not. But that combined with playing with old clubs that are not forgiving led to nine over through eight holes. So what we're gonna do here is now Grant on this last hole is going to hit the old clubs as well as me. And we're gonna see what happens because I wanna see what Grant can do with it. Final hole here. So I'm gonna play this hole with these clubs and see what happens. It's kind of like a little sudden death. Yeah, this is, I mean, I lost the match. And so now it's more just like, I wanna see him hit it. They're doable, like I said, it's just, it wasn't a good combination for me, like not swinging it well today, plus the hard to hit clubs. It was just a recipe for disaster. Let's finish strong here. Oh yeah. Go How left does that on happen? That. I don't know, dude. The other thing is we picked like the worst course to do this challenge at because it's just so freaking tight. There's trouble in every hole. Dude, I'm so nervous to hit this. It's so like whippy. I think honestly that's why, because you hit it and it just feels like it closes down. I'm gonna try and play it back in my stance and I'll punch it. Oh, okay, and he still hits this good. The guy's just an athlete. Full blown athlete. He's just better. I was just born an athlete. Yeah, just better. I mean, I can hit a broomstick. There we go. I'm impressed. I am. He made it look way easier than it is, I swear. Maybe it is that easy, I really don't know. Maybe I just saw it. Now we're just having fun with it. We already lost. I'm just gonna tee this up on a grass tee and I'm gonna hit it as hard as I can and see. We were par five, so third shot. See if we can do something crazy to finish. This would be cool. Oh, oh, Carrie. Did it? That was pretty good. That was right at it and it had no spin, dude. If that rolled up there, that would be so cool. I'm gonna go with this thing again. Here we go. Come on, Granosaurus Rex. Dude, I love these clubs, Garrett. What great club. They're just really easy to hit. Well, that was a pretty good shot. Just at the right side for Grant. I took a drop and I don't know where I'm at, but we'll see. Yeah, they're top. They're very, very whippy. So I'm aiming right. I'm actually playing in the back of my stance and trying to hold the pick. That's what I've done on every shot. Yeah, I it to hold the that's the thing. It works for me. You missed every shot left today. So it it to worked it. for me for the first three holes. And then after that, it just kind of went downhill. So maybe mine rolled up here. It was such a good line. I just, I don't know if it carried. That was my biggest thing. Oh, I am just short of the green. I was right at the pin. So if I can chip wow. in for birdie, that'd be kind of a cool finish. Nine iron, the grand slam nine iron. Here we go. High cut. Dude, I love these clubs. Here we are, just short of the green. I still have a chance for birdie, which would be sick. Right to left, I got the five wood out. I'm going with a new strategy, the nine iron. It was not my friend today, we'll just say that, so. Oh, go in to make me wow. happy, please. Almost. Hey, I'll, I'll take it with a par. Nine over through nine today. Didn't swing it great, unfortunately. Sometimes that's just doesn't work with clubs like this, so. Let's see if Grant, dude, if Grant can make birdie, I will be very highly impressed because they were hard to hit. They really were. Yes. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> That's actually insane. We're gonna end it there, folks. That is very impressive to make birdie with those clubs. That's, I gotta give it to him. He played well today, I did not. 
and unfortunately I got destroyed. Nine over to one over, Grant made birdie on the, the bonus hole. So I think honestly the challenge needed to be flop. I think I needed to be using my clubs today and he needed to be using the $30 set. I disagree. If you guys did enjoy that, slap that like button. Till next time guys, peace out.